Hey everyone, this is Tim from URCX Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix an issue with Streamlabs OBS where you're using display capture and it's either a black screen or it's stuttering a lot. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So recently I got a new gaming computer and two new monitors and I have a three monitor setup and I hooked everything up and I'm getting a lot of black screens and stuttering issues when I'm using display capture. When I go over to my display number two, it will just display black. When I go to display number one, it will take a little bit to load up the display, but when it does, I have a window open right now and I'm just gonna hold down the window and it should move along with my cursor in a circle, but it doesn't. And it's just really, really low frames per second laggy and it just stutters a lot i can't even like tell if i'm watching a youtube video on it because it just doesn't move along with the video at all so how would i get this to actually like be smooth and work now there is an issue it seems like with your new monitor and it being hooked up to your computer now if you're on your desktop right click on it go down to display settings select this option right here open up this window and then scroll down to windows HD color and then go to play HDR games and apps and on check mark on. There seems like there's an issue when you use HDR on windows 10 with Streamlabs OBS where when you're using display capture, it just simply doesn't work. To be honest, now watch this. I'm gonna move this around in a circle and it should move around in a circle. It is so strange that this doesn't work. And I'm not sure if Streamlabs OBS, they know about this issue, but as soon as you play HDR games or apps with the Windows 10 option on, it simply won't capture with display capture and it won't work. So go ahead and try this out for yourself. Just simply turn off HDR and your display capture should work on your desktop. Now, if you're using a laptop, it's gonna be a different video, so go ahead and check out one of my other videos for fixing a black screen popping up right now above. So if this video did indeed help you fix this issue, even though you won't be able to have HDR, it will work with Streamlabs OBS now. So leave this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel down below for more Streamlabs tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.